Let me next make a very quick graph just to show you the, the quick overview of how you make a graph. Let's come up here. I'm going to pick some data that I've already put in here. Now, when you look at the data window, you'll see it looks very much like a, a typical Excel spreadsheet that you're familiar with. In this particular case, we have a uh, year. We have deforestation in square miles, deforestation in square kilometers, the percent change per year, and then a running sum of that deforestation. Plotly uses a graphical interface if you like, or you can also use um, um, line code. You can import stuff from R and, and a whole variety of other programs or push to those programs when you're done. But let's just start with our basic graphical interface. So I'll come up here. Whatever I click on will become, say, the x or the y variable. In this particular case, I want to have year on the x-axis. Let's have deforestation in square kilometers as the y. Um, now, there's, there's two different toggle boxes. I can come up here. I can pick what my plot would uh, sh I'd like to be, and then come up here and hit line plot. Or I can come up here and get access to a, a greater a variety of plots. But for now, I'll just pick, let's say, line plot. Now here's my graph. Here's the graph window. This guy over here is my, are my themes. Now there's a default theme that the graph will have. I can uh, also just rapidly select and, and pick with a click other themes that are popular for this type of graph. Or I can make my, get my graph the way I want it and then save it as my own theme and have that for access for any future graph I'd like to make. Now, the first thing I want to do is come up here and hit Save. And I'm going to call this my test, test line graph. Say OK. Now, as soon as I say Save, it's going to give me a link that I can share with folks. It's going to tell me how I can embed it, all kinds of that uh, uh, good thing, all that good stuff that we'll uh, talk about in the future. But let me first draw your attention to the uh, window right here, the options right here in the window. First is traces. Now this is going to be about your actual graph element, be it a bar, be it a scatter, be it a point, or be it a line. This is how I'm going to come up here and manipulate all of these elements. I can uh, you know, make it uh, whatever the heck. I can make it super, super big. Oops, excuse me. I can make it super big. Or I can uh, you know, make it uh, fairly opaque. I can do whatever. I can pick this particular element, or if I had layered data on here, I could come in and pick the individual uh, plot that I was so, uh, so interested in manipulating. This option will let me do some universal layout things, change the overall uh, default font option, size, etc., the format of my numbering and decimal formats. I can come over here and I can mess with my axes. Again, I can mess with everything as an uh, overall group, a global group, or I can come in and mess with the individual axes uh, uh, or axis, coming in and uh, changing uh, scale, time, all this kind of good stuff, what my ticks are going to be like, how my, what my spacing is going to be like, etc. Notes will allow me to come in and augment some uh, information that I want to make sure people see. So if I do this, I just click this. Notice I have a new text guy right here. Uh, it'll By default, it'll add an arrow. I'm going to turn that arrow off. I'm going to come here and just grab this text box, move it to whatever I want, and say whatever. We also have an option for a legend. Uh, in this case, I just turn it on. It doesn't help us, but we can do all that great stuff. We can curve fit. And again, we can call up our toggle on or off our theme box. So that really quickly is how you can make a plot in Plotly.